But we have a very special uh, guest lined up for you on the Friday edition of Coronavirus Facts versus Myths. Now, technology and innovation has really been our tool to fight the COVID pandemic. Researchers at Harvard and MIT have now designed a new face mask that can diagnose COVID-19 and that too within 90 minutes. The researchers have filed for uh, a patent on the technology. They are now hoping to work uh, with companies to further develop these sensors. And one of the research scientists at Harvard University working on this project joins us. Peter Newen is with us. Thanks, Peter, for speaking with NDTV. Um, I want to begin by asking you about this new mask that you're developing to detect COVID. Tell us, how does it work? Yeah, so the, the face mask is like any other face mask. What we've developed is a sensor that actually fits inside of the face mask. Um, and the sensor uh, has a, a sample collection area. It sits right in front of your mouth. And while you're breathing and you have the mask on, it absorbs all of the aerosols that are coming out of your lungs uh, in your breath. Um, and after about 15 to 30 minutes, you would press a button on the outside of the mask and that activates the sensor. The sensor then releases water and the water basically sweeps everything that's been collected on the inside of the mask into a smaller sensor. And that sensor actually analyzes um, what, you're, what you've been exhaling to see if there's any uh, COVID-19 in your breath. Well, it's absolutely fascinating what technology and innovation can really do. But how accurate is this mask test? Uh, is it as accurate as the gold standard, the RT-PCR? Yes, yeah, surprisingly it is. Um, so our, our face mask, unlike the RT-PCR system, uh, doesn't require a laboratory. It, it's not battery powered, so there's no actual power to it. Everything is actually integrated into the material of the sensor itself. Um, and we were uh, pleasantly surprised that we were able to get uh, results that are on par with the WHO approved RT-PCR assays for detecting COVID-19. And at what stage of development are you, uh, we, we're given to understand that you're seeking patent approval at the moment, but what's your strategy going forward with this product? Yes, uh, that's a great question. So uh, right now we've already filed the patents for this. Um, and right now we are looking to partner with manufacturers. Uh, specifically, we're looking at biomedical device manufacturers. So we're, we're a small academic lab. This is a working academic prototype, but we really right now need to convert this to a product that can be scaled up uh, using mass manufacturing techniques um, so that we can get this out to, to everybody that really needs it. Right, now, you know, testing is of course, one of the key tools for containing the spread of COVID. Uh, how will this particular product of yours aid that and what made you think of coming up with a mask as a testing tool? So um, what, what we found was uh, we started developing this a year ago during the first surge in the United States. Um, and what we found when we talked to the doctors was that um, there was a huge barrier in getting tested and in getting test results back in a timely manner. And what the doctors told us is, are, they basically told us, um, well, you know, if we got the test back faster, we could have made better decisions. Um, and so we need something that can be tested on site that gives you PCR level results. And so by using this face mask, our, our goal is to rapidly lower the barriers to testing. So in an outbreak situation, you're already gonna wear a mask. Why not have the test in the mask already and when you're done wearing the mask, you press it, you get the test results at the end of that, and then you can th just throw away the mask. So our goal is to uh, bring testing down to something that is very low barrier so that a lot of people can have very high frequency testing. Now you can imagine testing being done uh, at least daily, if not yes. multiple times a day in a very easy manner. Well, the million dollar question then is uh, how much will it cost and when will it be made available all over the world? So our prototype right now, our, our little academic prototype, um, all of the material costs in terms of the sensor itself, this doesn't include whatever mask that it's put into, that only costs five US dollars. 
Um, and so for a, a, an RT-PCR level test, nucleic acid test that you can take with you anywhere and uh, execute anywhere, that we think that's a really low price point. And by working with manufacturers, we think once we mass produce this, we, we're going to try to get that price down to only uh, one or two US dollars. That's, that's the, our goal right now. And in terms of when we can see this, um, we are working with manufacturers and that is kind of the, 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 um, the barrier we have right now is getting this to a form that can be mass produced as well as going through the necessary regulatory hurdles to get this uh, approved as a diagnostic. And so right now we're looking at uh, realistically, it would take probably a year okay. to, to get to that point moving as quickly as we can. Well, Peter Nguyen, uh, this indeed looks like game-changing technology. We wish you all the very best. Imagine if you wore a mask that not just protected you from COVID, but also tested you from COVID not once, but several times in the day and gave you a result in just 90 minutes. What a tool it would be to fight the pandemic. Thanks so much for joining us.